And now joining us to expand further on the renewed diplomatic relations with Chad is founder and executive director of the Israel Institute for Strategic Studies, Dr. Martin Sherman. Dr. Sherman, as always, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for inviting me back again. All right, so first of all, let's get right into it. Is the renewed relations with Chad the historic breakthrough that it's being hailed as? Well, it's certainly a significant success. I think it's a little early to judge the long-term uh, strategic impacts of, uh, of the event. Uh, you know, I'm always a little wary as to the long-term uh, relations between Israel and the Islamic world. We've had two uh, difficult uh, experiences with Iran and Turkey, who were once very close allies uh, of Israel, and once the regime changed, uh, that turned it on its head. And today, instead of being allies, they're uh, some of our most vehement enemies, particularly Iran. But on the reverse of that coin, then, couldn't a current enemy become tomorrow's friend? Well, well yes. The question is, you know, what are the underlying parameters? Uh, you know, if, if it's regime to regime, perhaps. I, I don't know. You know, Chad is not really a, a, a country where public opinion has a significant effect on, on the regime. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, I don't think that we should, we should belittle the, the impact and uh, others may follow, uh, uh, follow Chad's lead. So you do agree, perhaps, with the Prime Minister Netanyahu that after Chad, other Muslim or Arab uh, states, especially within Africa, might follow suit? Oh, I think there's a good chance. You know, the countries that have been m mentioned are uh, Sudan mm -hmm. and maybe Bahrain, who both who broke off relations with Iran. And then countries like Mali and, and Niger have been mentioned. Um, but, but I think, you know, you can, you should, can, we can analyze this event on three different levels. One is what we've been talking about now, the substantive impact diplomatically of the event. The other one, of course, is this, we shouldn't forget that this is all taking place in the, in the run-up to the elections. Sure. And uh, this is good for Netanyahu. You know, he can always show diplomatic triumphs whilst he's antagonists are obsessing over legalistic trivia like champagne and cigars. So I think you know, this certainly won't harm his, his electoral chances and, and, his, and his stature as the elections approach. And the third thing is that the, the light that it shines on the Palestinian issue as a, as, as a central stumbling block between Israel and the Muslim world. You know, as time goes on, this is becoming more and more marginalized, and the stronger and more successful that Israel pre pre uh, image that Israel projects makes it a more uh, desired partner. And it, we can see this has been pushed onto the back burner. Is that issue more marginalized, though? Because, because you know, you have you have many other countries, uh, including now Chad, who have said yes. You know, we support X, Y, and Z as long as there's a two-state solution with 67 borders at the end, and then they go back to that. Well, the Chad didn't do that. Chad renewed uh, diplomatic relations without that. Saudi Arabia is... Uh, no, but, but President Debbie has stated in the past that he still uh, places the Palestinian issue in very high regard, uh, and, and that you know a two-state solution needs to be... Well, actions speak louder than words, I think. I mean, he's actually established diplomatic relations today without that being the case. Uh, I'm not quite sure that uh, closer relations, even though they're not official, w won't develop with other countries. If, of course, you know, th these relations are driven more by a, a, a fear of Iran than, than much uh, affection towards Israel. And who knows what happens if Iran is defanged, whether the, the, the old animosities won't uh, reemerge. So, you know, I think it's a significant, uh, certainly a significant achievement. Netanyahu has done very well on the, the diplomatic stage. We've seen what happened in Brazil. Mm. You know, Brazil not, not like many Bolsonaro. years ago wouldn't, wouldn't even accept sure. our ambassador and, and now they're embracing us. So I think Netanyahu can, can chalk this up as a significant achievement. The long-term effect, the jury is still out. All right. And with that, unfortunately, we're going to have to call it. Dr. Sherman, as always, thank you so much for coming in and uh, sharing your insights Thank with you. Us.